You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. And I appreciate you guys for trusting the process. Make sure you like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. Now let's get to the content. So we got none other than Lil Wayne and Jay-Z in the building. So you guys know, about a month ago, Lil Wayne, he got real emotional because he felt like he got snubbed for performing at the Super Bowl. And this time around, the Super Bowl is in New Orleans. So he was saying that he believed that he was going to take that stage because it was in his hometown. But it seems like Jay-Z had another plan. So Jay-Z gave Kendrick Lamar the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl. Now I'm going to take you guys back down memory lane. First of all, I want to say forgive me for, uh, forgive me for the delay, um, the delay on, I mean, just the delay, I want to say, uh, I had to first of all, I had to get strength, I had to get strength enough to do this without breaking. Um, I must say thank you. I must say thank you to every voice, every opinion, all the care, all the love and the support out there is, your, your words turn into to arms and, and held me up when, when I try to fall back. That hurt. Hurt a lot. You know what I'm talking about? It hurt a whole lot. Um, I blame myself for not being mentally prepared for a letdown. And for just automatically mentally putting myself in that position like somebody told me that was my position. So I blame myself for that. But I thought that was nothing, you know, I thought that was nothing better than that that, that spot in that stage and that platform in my city. And um so I heard I heard a whole lot. So as you can hear from that clip right there, Lil Wayne, he was real devastated after he didn't get the gig. Now, a lot of fans are saying he didn't get that gig because Jay-Z had some kind of underlying feelings toward Lil Wayne. Now, some people are saying it's because of Birdman and others are saying it's just because this is the type of person that Jay-Z is once he gets power and authority. He always give people his rear end to kiss. Then you have to also look at it from a business standpoint. The NFL is a family oriented platform and we all know that Lil Wayne has struggled drug abuse over the last maybe decade and some change. So we don't know how the NFL was actually looking at that. But hey, Lil Wayne, he doubled down once again at his concert. And he started talking about the Super Bowl once again. And he even played a special little song after he finished making this statement. You guys check this out and then I'll be back with some more commentary. I was able to give my mama that suit. She was able to bring my family and other people from New Orleans and they had a fucking ball. That moment I said to myself, I want to be on stage for the Super Bowl one day in front of my mom. And I worked my ass off to get that fucking position and it was ripped away from me. But this motherfucking moment right here. They can't take that, man. They can't take that from me. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for yourself for being amazing. Music. So Wayne said that he worked his tail off just to get where he was so he could be actually considered for this Super Bowl. And he said he feels like maybe Jay-Z ripped this heart out. Jay-Z ripped this opportunity away from him. Now, I have my opinion, but I want to hear what the subscribers and what do you guys think about this entire situation. So I need you guys to drop it in the comments below and let me know, do you believe that Jay-Z actually was just hating on Lil Wayne or do you believe that this was a business decision and the NFL played a major part in this decision to put Kendrick Lamar in this power slot you guys drop it in the comments